Hey, welcome to another edition of some LEGO EV3 tutorials. This is line file tutorial number two. If you missed number one, you can go back and check that out. That's just low level number one, nice, super easy, a switch block within a loop, making decision to either go right or left. This one here, we're going to take it up just one more notch. And so take a look at that first one um, if you haven't seen that yet. What we're doing here today is going to have the robot make three decisions before in our previous video we had it just make one and in terms of here it was reading the reflected light if it was less than 50 and that was true it was turning left if it was more than 50 it was false and it was turning right now in our line follow two we're going to throw one more command in there to make it a little bit smoother and so what we have going on here is the following. I went through and I took my robot and the light sensor and I moved it in all white and then partially on black, mostly white, then kind of half and half, like half white, half black, and then almost all black with a little bit of white and then all black. And I tried to get a, a kind of better zone of proximity of what I wanted the robot to do and I took all those numbers down. Now, what I want to do from there is I've added another decision. And so you can see here, same kind of thing. I've got a big loop, and in the loop I've got a switch block. And we're looking at the colored sensor. We're comparing the reflected light intensity less than. This time, I'm going a little bit under, meaning that I'm going, if I know my threshold value in the previous video was 42 or it was 50 excuse me I bumped this down to 40 and so now if it's less than 40 mostly black then uh, we're gonna hang a left here if it's more than that and it bumps down and so if it reads 40 or higher it's not gonna go here and it's gonna make another decision and now what it's gonna do is it's going to read if indeed it's less than 50 then it's going to drive straight. And so I kind of have this threshold um, on my mat where 50 kind of tends to be almost black um, in terms of the reflected light. It, it's a pretty bright space. And so really what we're doing here, if it's way under, boom, pure black, it's going up. If it's more than that, it's shooting down here. Now if it's in this range, we're going straight. This 40 to 50 tends to be straight. It's going to go nice and straight. If it's not, and it's more than 50, now we're really bright, it's going to hang a right. And then it's going to loop back, and it's going to go through this work again. So what we're really doing here is having it make decisions. And when it, we think it's close to being on the black, it's hanging to the left. And then once it's there, and if we feel like we got it, boom, it's going to go straight. The idea being that when we're right here in this zone, We've, I've increased the threshold of seeing what I think would be considered black. It's going to go straight. And so it's not going to jerk back and forth like in the previous one. And then it'll scale back. It'll kind of read through this process again. It'll slightly turn, boom, make another decision, and away we go. And so I just have this narrow window of margin here. You're going to have to adjust your numbers and play with this a little bit in order to get it. And so what I've done was, I once again, all white mostly white, a little black, half and half, mostly black, little white, and then all black. And I just kind of found my threshold ranges. This just allows your robot to run a little bit smoother. All right, so let me explain this threshold a little bit better because I don't think I did enough justice in the video. So this circle represents my light sensor. And so I grabbed a bunch of different readings. When my sensor is right here all the way in white I get a threshold reading say of 90 and when I'm all the way completely on the black line I get a threshold reading of 10. As we talked about in video one you take those two numbers the black and the white and you add them together and you divide by two and that gets your threshold and that's what we use for that switch block to go back and forth and so in this case that would be 50. Now in order to get this for this next for this code what I've done is you take the halfway point of, of both of those. So that would make 
70, 70 and 30 in this example. And so when we go back to the code there, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be adding that high number for that first switch block and then the low number down below. So we'll go back and take a look at that here right now. All right, so in that example I just gave you with the paper, this is my program here. What I want to do then, since I found the middle of that number was 50, and then I found the halfway point for the white and black, what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to go through and I'm going to add the low number here, the black. If it's less than 30, it's going to go here and hang. If it's more, here we go, then we're going to put in that white value threshold down here. Now it has to make a decision, and that's going to clear. It's going to allow this to go a little bit smoother. So I hope that helps out explain a little bit more on how to do your thresholds. And now let's take a look at the robot. Audio that you're getting at me talking. It's all going to be moved to silent. <laughs>